This is a more challenging ice table question. Let's take a look at it. At 700 K, the equilibrium constant is 0.83. Suppose that you start, okay? So as soon as you see start, that's like initial, make yourself an ice table. So I, C, E, all right? With one mole of carbon monoxide and one mole of water in a five liter container. All right, I gotta get to concentration, so moles over volume. I've got starting with 0 0.2, moles per liter of carbon dioxide, or carbon monoxide, and 0 0.20 moles of H2O. What is the concentration of each substance present in the container when the gases are in equilibrium? So this is all the information I know, except that we don't have any H2 or CO2 initially, so they're at zero. So now it's tricky because I'm not given a change, and since I'm not given a change, I'm going to look at my coefficients, and I'm going to make x the change, and I'm going to, if the coefficient is 2, it will be 2x. If the coefficient is 3, it will be 3x. In this case, these coefficients are all 1. So it's minus x, minus x, because these are going to be consumed, and plus x, because they're going to be formed, and plus x, because it's formed. So now, what I can do is I can deal with my equilibrium concentrations in terms of x. So I'm going to subtract here 0 0.2 minus x, 0 0.2 minus x, this becomes x and x. All right, so now I've got equilibrium concentrations in terms of x. Let's work that in with kc. Okay, if I get kc, I can find um, what x is. Once I find x is, I can answer the question, which is what is the concentration of each substance. kc is equal to the product's concentration to their coefficients. I'm just leaving out states and sig digs because I don't have a lot of room divided by the concentration of the reactants. All right, let's substitute in what we know. We know Kc is 0 0.83. Okay. And I know the concentration at equilibrium is x for hydrogen times x for carbon dioxide. And I'm going to divide by the concentration of reactants, which is 0 0.2 minus x and 0 0.2 minus x. Let's look at this further. We can see that that can be simplified. I'll do it over here. 0 0.83 is equal to x squared divided by 0 0.2 minus x, and we'll square that too. So solving for x isn't that much of a challenge. Don't freak out here. You don't need the quadratic equation. Just understand that if I square root everything, It'll make it easier to solve for x. So if I square root, I'll get 0 0.83. Square root of that is equal to x divided by 0 0.2 minus x. So now you've simplified it quite, quite a bit. So you can now simplify to solve for x. If life is good and you know how to do math, you'll get x is equal to 0 0.095. Let's say, and that is moles per liter. So once I've got my x, I can tell you what the concentration of both my products are, because they're equivalent to x. And then the concentration of carbon monoxide and water will be 0 0.2 minus x. So 0 0.2 minus x is equal to 0, approximately 0 0.10 moles per liter, which is the concentration of carbon monoxide and water. So you can solve. Uh, using an ice table for equilibrium concentrations, if all you are starting with are my reactant concentrations, and as long as I've got Kc, I can solve for